Good evening, Hackology, and welcome to the tutorial on SDR Sharp. Um, this tutorial is taking me a little while to get put together because I always like to spend a little bit of time with the software to get to know it before I do a video for you guys. And then I can explain all the cool stuff to you. So, um, SDR Sharp running with the RTL dongle, and uh, let's let's just get started. Let's just jump straight in. So, um, I just um, in the settings ensure that your Realtek dongle is selected. Um, all the settings are like this. This stands for Realtek dongle automatic gain correction. You have to edit the gain itself. If you have a better signal, make sure that these graphs don't go at the top of the screen. Otherwise, you'll um, start getting a distorted signal. So, uh, go into the settings, increase your gain, ensure the Realtek is selected, and click the play button to start RF data. Um, if you notice, um, as I'm clicking here, um, in GQRX you can drag the bandwidth marker to, to set how much uh, bandwidth you wish to monitor on FM. Um, on this one, it's done all, semi automatically, so when you move between bands, it selects the correct uh, filter. Let's just show you, so we go to the airband here. Let's go to the airband and let's find some voice traffic. So, you, as, if you notice, um, SDR Shop automatically selects the correct profile for listening to whatever waveforms are within the band. You can see here it's got a band plan at the bottom, and these are obviously pre programmed. If you need to set your own, you can. So, over on this side, you've got the different types of modes, demodulation modes, so you've got narrow FM, AM, uh, USB, wide FM, carry away, raw signal for if you're piping it into other applications. Um, lots of uh, settings down here, this is the filter on the uh, FFT, uh, fast Fourier transform, which it may, basically means how many times it samples this uh, signal a second. Um, and also drawing your um, waterfall display down here. So um, you can increase the step size for uh, tuning when you're just scrolling through. So if we go to 100 kilohertz step size, um, I don't know if it's, um, yes, it is stepping in 100 kilohertz steps, which we really wouldn't want in an AM band or a narrow mode FM. So, uh, tuning to signals is as easy as uh, just changing the, the numbers up here on the top of the screen. Let's see if there's any hums in the ham band online, and we'll do some narrow mode FM. So here we are in the ham band. That sounds like voice traffic, but not very clear. That there. One four six, so we need to go down. Sorry. And step size is twelve point five. Nothing. What's this? There we go. That voice. No. Nope. So yeah, SDR Sharp is a little bit more automated in the fact that it actually sets the filter for you related to the band plan and where you're clicking in the uh, application or within the, the, um, the wave band. Um, so this is automatic gain correction, which corrects the gain amount. I don't recommend you use this because it sometimes messes up the um, noise um, the noise floor. So it will bring the noise floor up when somebody transmits to keep the signal within range on the screen and it's not uh, particularly a good option to use. So these are your options for your fast Fourier um, transform. So these relate to how this um, graph here is displayed and how the waterfall looks down here. Uh, we've got noise reduction, which you can use I suppose. Sometimes it's handy. Um, you may not want to use it if you're demodulating stuff outside of SDR Sharp, but using SDR Sharp to capture the audio. Um, let's just show you on an audio stream the noise reduction. So we'll jump back down to, let's just go to a commercial station for the moment. Uh, let's go to 
Okay, commercial station. And we can hear There we go. So you play back with these for getting better quality voice out. Um, uh, there's a few different filters for getting rid of noise. You can record audio. You can record audio down here by just clicking the record. You can either record the baseband audio or just the audio captured from the stream here uh, with your selected filter. And the rest, you know, show the band plan. So that's whether you want this to display here and the actual position of it as to where it goes. And that is about SDR Sharp in as quick and as um, as quick and as easy I can really do it Hackology. I really hope the audio is captured well and I hope that the screen capture has gone well. Um, I'm going to move on to Poxag next. So if this is recorded successfully, expect a Poxag stroke flex pager demodulation video coming very, 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 very soon. Have fun hacking as always. You've been watching Hackology. Peace!